So now here that I've logged into my Office 365 um, site as a user, one of the things that the user is able to do is obviously install any software um, that is licensed for them. Um, so they can go up to here to the cog, select that, go to Office 365 settings, and that will then bring them up with the option to go into software. And from there you'll see that the software that is available for them to download and install on their machine. So in this case, because we've got an Office 365 uh, E3 license, Office um, Professional Plus is available to us. But if we have a look here under Tools and Add-ins, we'll notice that SharePoint Designer uh, is also available. So what a user could do is download that and then uh, basically go in and attempt to edit the SharePoint site. So Here's the installation of uh, SharePoint Designer. So I've actually opened um, the SharePoint site. Um, if I go into, for example, lists and libraries, I can see all the lists and the libraries, and I can um, basically, you know, work on these. I could potentially delete them. If I go into site pages, um, for example, and I click on a site page, you'll see that I get the option here to edit that, and that brings me up. Um, with the HTML code. So if I don't know what I'm doing or not skilled enough, I can go in here and I can really do some damage to my standard SharePoint site. So what we probably want to have a look at is how we can disable this um, designer option from Office 365, so at least that's not available um, to our user. So what I'll do is I'll swap across here to um, my Office 365 admin login. So again, this is our standard SharePoint site. Um, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go up to admin and to Office 365 to take me to the dashboard view layout um, up the top here. So you'll see now I'm at the admin center down the left hand side under service settings. Uh, what you'll find here is that um, a number of different settings. Now, if I select, for example, use the software across the top here, what I can do is I can go in here and I can uncheck Office and Link, but as you see, I can also uncheck SharePoint Designer. So if I now save that, um, that will now be uh, applied. So what I can do now is basically if I now go and log out um, as this user, and then when the login comes, go back and log that user back in. So that user's uh, now logging back into Office 365. If I repeat that process, um, go into Office 365 settings, and then go in and have a look at the software. So I go back into software um, as the ordinary user. What we should see is the fact that if we go to Tools and Add-ins now, we'll see that um, SharePoint Designer is no longer um, available as a download. So this will prevent the, the user from downloading the uh, SharePoint Designer tool uh, from their Office 365 portal. Now because SharePoint Designer is a free tool available from Microsoft, um, we can obviously prevent it from being downloaded through the Office 365 portal, but that doesn't mean that um, a skilled user can't basically do a search for SharePoint Designer um, on Microsoft Download Center and download and install it themselves. So although that we've stopped it in the portal, um, the user still could download it um, themselves and install it and then try and access our SharePoint site. So what we can do here is if we go back to our SharePoint site, so if we go to uh, Sites and then go to our team site, uh, what we can do as an administrator of the site, so I'm logged in here as the administrator, if I go into Site Settings, what you'll find when you scroll down the bottom of Sites Site Settings is an option here called SharePoint Designer Settings. So what I can do in here is I can, for example, totally um, disable SharePoint Designer. But you will notice that by default that only site owners and designers um, can use SharePoint, uh, SharePoint Designer in Site Collection. So in Office 365 you need to be a site owner or a designer to have the ability to work with SharePoint Designer. And uh, most users when they are given permissions to uh, Office 365 um, SharePoint. They come in as uh, members of the site. So if we have a look at uh, members, okay, so again, typically members only have um, 
the ability to contribute, they don't have the ability to design a site. So hopefully that'll give you a quick overview of how you can prevent your users from using SharePoint Designer to access your SharePoint site. So uh, basically in summary, what we need to do firstly is we need to go to the uh, Office 365 Admin Center um, as an Office 365 Administrator, go to Service Settings, and then go into uh, Software, Use Software, and select the option here to prevent them from downloading SharePoint Designer. Now obviously again that will allow them, um, to, that will prevent them from downloading in the portal, they can still download it manually. Um, if we want to actually prevent SharePoint Designer from um, working with any of our SharePoint site collections, we need to go into each of those site collections there. So we bring up our site collection here and we go into the site settings and in there down the bottom you'll find an option here for site designer settings and we can uncheck the ability for anybody to use SharePoint Designer at all in this site collection. So if you've got a number of site collections you would need to do this in each site collection that you have. Thank you very much for watching.